Number 60. Twin jet engines on an airplane are producing an average sound frequency of 4100 hertz with a beat frequency of 0.5 hertz. What are their individual frequencies? So they say two engines are producing um, a beat frequency. So first, let's look at the formula for beat frequency. It says that the beat frequency will be equal to uh, the absolute value of the frequency of one value minus the frequency of the other. Okay. Now, to get rid of this absolute value, since we have to actually have to find these uh, uh, frequencies, I got to get rid of the absolute value. And when we do that, we're just going to simply take the plus and minus value of the answer. All right, F1 minus F2. And now what that does is that tells me I need to break this thing up into two uh, equations, basically. The positive beat frequency will equal F1 minus F2, and then the negative beat frequency will equal F1 minus F2. All right, so these are going to be the two equations. Now, we don't know what the Fs are, right? However, they did tell us now um, the average sound frequency. So remember that average sound frequency, thats it's just a simple average, okay? That's all it is. So how do you calculate a simple average? Well, the average frequency would be some value, let's call it X, right? Plus some value Y divided by 2. In other words, I instead of X and Y, I can use F1 and F2, right? F1 plus then F2 all divided by 2. That's what the average would be. So now what I realize is uh, essentially I know what the average is, all right? They told that to me. They told us, uh, they told us it's 4,100, so I can plug in. Let's just do that. 4,100 is going to be equal to F1 plus F2 all over 2. So that works out to 8,200 is equal to F1 plus F2. Now realize I have this equation, and they also told me the beat frequency. So you know what? Why don't I go into my equations here and plug them in just so I can get rid of some of the uh, letters, some of the variables, all right? And I'm going to plug it in with the signs. So it's going to be positive 0 0.500. And then this is going to be uh, negative 0 0.500. So what I actually have now is I have two equations, right? I have this equation. And then I have these two, which basically come from the same one. So it's not like you can kind of substitute one for the other. Because if you put this, you know, if you put this value on in for that value over there, you realize it's something just doesn't make sense. So that's why I needed this equation. Now what I can do here is I can solve this equation for one of the variables. I, I, why don't we just solve it for, um, I don't know, why don't we solve it for F1? doesn't really matter. F1 is going to be equal to then uh, 8200 minus F2. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the two equations that I have over here and I'm going to plug in this result for F1. So I'll do it to the first equation. All right, so it's going to be 0 0.500 is equal to now 8200 minus then F2 minus F2. So what do we get here? So let's, you know, add these together, subtract the 8200 on over. So it's going to be 8200, oops, 0 0.5 minus 8200. It's going to work out to be negative. So that's a negative 8199.5, and that's equal to now 2, negative 2 F2. And now we can solve for F2, right? So just divide that out now by negative 2. And we realize that we get a value here of about uh, 40,099, excuse me, 4,099.75. How many sig figs? I don't know. I'm just going to leave it alone. I mean, uh, otherwise, if, if I, yeah, what, how many sig figs should I have? Yeah, it only told me 4,100. So I'm just going to leave it like this. All right, to show the full amount of detail. And then F1, I can simply now take F2, plug it in here, let's say, and then I can find, whoops, I can find F1. And that should be fairly straightforward, right? We're just going to simply add now the 0.5 to the 4100 plus 0.5. Excuse me. All right. So this is going to be 4100.5. Oh, uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Sorry. I did that wrong. F1 here, sorry, is going to be, I have to uh, take this value and add it to 0.5. And that's what I actually, uh, yeah, no, I did not do that, right? Yeah, no. 40, uh, 4,099.75, and then basically add that now to 0.5. And we have 
uh, 4100.25. And notice they're equally away from 4100. So hopefully this makes sense. There are the two frequencies. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.